Hey guys, welcome back to another video on PS4 Linux. It's been quite some time since I released Pathosira 34 for PS4 and I'm glad to say that ETA Prime covered it on his channel, so kind of a proud moment for me. I would like to thank all of you for the great support that you have poured in and also for the donations that have made it possible for me to bring newer projects to you from time to time. So this is one of those newer projects. In one of the earlier videos, I showed you how you could get Steam Deck UI on any PS4 Linux distro. In this video, we're going to take it a step further. I will show you how you can boot directly into Steam Deck UI on any Linux distro. It doesn't matter if you're working on a PS4 or a PC, this will work for you. I hope you guys will enjoy this, okay? Just to give you a quick idea of how this is going to work, I'm going to show you a short video showing this in play. And after that, I'm going to show you how you could achieve that on any Linux distro running on a PC or a PS4 or even any other device which is capable of running Linux decently. So let's not waste our time and get started with the tutorial. As for the requirements, we're going to need a Linux distro running on a PC or a PS4 or any other device. As for the next requirement, what you need is Steam Deck UI already running on your PC or PS4. For this, you can watch my earlier tutorial. I will leave a link to that in the description. We have both the video tutorial and the textual tutorial. Just choose one according to your convenience and set it up. Okay. We can move to the next step only after you have set up Steam Deck UI. So make sure that you are following that tutorial, the earlier tutorial religiously. Okay. If your only aim is to boot directly into Steam Deck UI, what I've already shown in the starting of the video, if that is your only aim, 
you don't have to install game scope that we did in the previous video you can skip that part apart from that you have to follow the previous tutorial to the t okay now once that is done we are ready to move on to the next part of the tutorial which will help us boot directly into the steam deck ui so this is nobara 36 for ps4 you are free to choose any other distro and that brings me to another topic i would like to give a quick shout out to mr white hagser who is another dev on the ps4 linux scene i had a few issues with my 5.x kernel running recently with my game capture card i don't know what the actual issue is but he suggested one of his kernels for this tutorial it's a 4.19 kernel that actually supports vulcan this is a bicycle model ps4 and i'm going to show you quickly that this is running a 4.19 kernel as you can see 4.19 but this also supports vulcan as you can see right here see so you could also check out his work on github and he's also on twitter okay now moving on assuming that you have already followed my previous tutorial on setting up steam deck ui now we can run the steam deck as we can go to the terminal and i'm gonna type steam space hyphen gamepad ui space hyphen no verify files and then i'm gonna press enter so this should start the steam deck ui as you can see right here okay and let's wait for it to load completely and uh, yep here we go now this is steam deck ui as you can see i have already logged in if you did follow the earlier tutorial as i already said you would have already logged in okay the next step is to download a game it could be any game any game you wish it is just for setting up purposes so this is a small game that i have right now monaco so i'm gonna download this i'm gonna go into the menu and start downloading it by clicking on this install button and uh, while it does the installation i'm also going to do another thing i'm going to go to the manage part of this game and go to the properties and then under compatibility i'm going to make sure that this is ticked for the use of a specific steam play compatibility tool okay i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click back okay and then we're going to wait for this download to complete i'm going to check here okay so this is downloading let's wait for this download to complete okay And that's it it seems that the game has been downloaded now i'm going to go to the game and i'm going to start the game see all of these steps are necessary for you to get the steam deck ui at boot mode working okay so i'm going to click on play and this again is going to take some time to set up the first launch and there we go we're going to wait for it to reach the main menu okay Okay, we are at the main menu. I'm going to press space and just scroll around a bit and just exit the game. You don't have to play the game right now. Okay, I'm going to exit the game right here. And we are back to the Steam Deck. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the Steam Deck UI 2 by clicking on the close button right here. We can also close the terminal safely now. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my files manager. And while at the home folder, you'll have to enable the show hidden files option. This depends on the file manager and the OS you're using. For this particular file manager or Nobara, all you have to do is click here and click on the show hidden files. Okay. This will display all the hidden files and the folders within this particular folder. And as you can see, we have a hidden folder called .steam. I'm going to go into that. And then again, we have a folder called Steam. I'm going to go into that. And then we're going to go into Steam apps and then compact data and then go into this particular folder 113020 make sure that you're going into this folder this number will stay the same on all the OSs. so i'm going to go into this folder and then into pfx now once you're in this folder just right click on in blank space and click on open in terminal again this will depend on the file manager and the os you're using anyways you will have to make sure that you have a terminal open within this folder right that is uh, the home dot steam 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 apps compact data 110320 and then pfx you have to open a terminal within this folder and once that is open you're gonna type env space all in caps wine prefix is equal to dollar pwd space wine cfg wine cfg should be in the small letters and everything between env and uh, Find CFG should be in capitals and then press enter. 
Now this will open up the wine configuration window most of you might be familiar with. Okay, we're going to wait for that to open. Now once this is open, I'm going to go into the graphics menu and I'm going to make sure that automatically capture the mouse in full screen windows is ticked and also that the allow the window manager to decorate the windows is ticked. Apart from these, nothing else should be ticked. As you can see, this has been ticked by default. I'm going to disable it and I'm also going to make sure that emulator virtual desktop is also not ticked. OK, once you have made sure of that, I'm going to click on apply and then OK. Now, once that is done, we're going to move to the next part of the tutorial where we actually set up the boot option for Steam Deck UI. OK, so I'm going to quickly close this terminal and let's open up a new terminal. OK because we need to install a piece of software called XDO tool for this to work properly. So on a Fedora based distro, including this Nobara, or you, what you have to do is just type sudo dnf install XDO tool. But let's say if you're using another distro and this is going to ask for the password, just enter that. And if you are using another distro for, let's say, the Bayan based distro or an Arch based distro, the installation instructions have been given on my website. I will also leave a link to that in the description. Please do check that if you want to install XDO tool on any Linux distro. OK, so we're going to wait for this to complete. This will be pretty quick, I guess. OK. And yep, that's it. OK, uh, once that is installed, I'm going to close the terminal right here. And then we have to make sure that we have the Steam Deck boot files ready for moving to the appropriate folders. I've already downloaded them here. You will find the link for downloading these files in the description. Please go through them. OK, once you have both these files on in your downloads folder or any other convenient folder, we are ready to move on to the next step. So once you're in the folder containing these files, just right click on a blank space and open a terminal. OK. This again will vary depending on your distro, but it's pretty straightforward. OK, so first of all, we're going to move this file that is Steam Deck new 404 desktop to the X sessions folder. So I'm going to type sudo space CP space Steam Deck no 404 dot desktop and then space and then slash USR slash share slash X sessions and then press enter. This is going to ask for the password, just provide it. And then we're going to move this file to the bin folder. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to type sudo space cp space steam deck pfo linux and then space slash usr slash bin. And that's it. We are actually ready to boot directly into the steam deck UI. In the next step, I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. OK, now to boot directly into the Steam Deck UI, you have to go back to your login screen. And to do that, what we're going to do is click here and then click power off or log out and then choose the logout option. OK. And that's it. It throws us back to the login screen. I'm going to click on the user and then I'll go to this little wrench icon here. This will depend on the desktop manager that you're using. For example, on LXDM, it would be around this portion. OK, so it actually depends on the desktop manager that you're using. Nobara 36 uses GNOME and that's why you have the wrench icon here. Anyways, what you're going to do is on the login screen, you will have to find the option to switch between different desktop managers. OK, and since this is GNOME, I'm going to click on this wrench icon and then choose the Steam Deck option and I'm going to provide my password right here. So this will boot me directly into the Steam Deck UI. Here we have the familiar Steam Deck logo. Let's wait for it to go full screen and that's it. So this is it. So we have already installed Monaco. So I'm going to go into Monaco and try playing it. Okay, let's see. And that's it, guys. It's loading. Now, once we have played enough, now it's time to quit and get back to our real work. OK, so how do you do that? I'm going to show you that. So first of all, we're going to quit the game if you want to. And now I'm going to show you a limitation of this method. Let's go to the Steam menu and try clicking on power. And then let's try click on switch to desktop. And as you can see, you can wait for an hour or so, but it won't do anything. OK, this is because there is a specific step that works well on the Steam Deck, not on other devices. So how do you quit and go back to the usual desktop manager? For example, in our case, GNOME, 
So I'm going to show you that next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Alt Control F2. Okay, so this will drop me into the TTY shell. We're going to log in using our credentials. For example, on Nobara 36, the PS4 login would be Noob 404 and the password is PS4. Now, once you have done that, what we're going to do is type kill space hyphen nine space hyphen one and then press enter. So this will kill the Steam Deck UI that we were currently using and will drop us back into the login screen. Okay, let's just wait for it. And here we are now to boot back into your usual or normal desktop environment. All you have to do is click on this user and then go back to this wrench and choose GNOME. And then let's try our password and then press enter. And here we are back to our usual and very familiar Nobara 36 for PS4 wallpaper. Yep. And that's it. You can easily switch between Steam Deck UI and the usual desktop manager by using the login screen as I've already shown you. All you have to do is click on logout and go back to the login screen and choose your preferred desktop manager, which should be GNOME or uh, the Steam Deck UI. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to share this with your friends who might be interested in running this. And also do like this video, comment on this video. Also make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell button. Okay. If you feel like donating for the future projects, I would really appreciate it and you can find the link for the donation in the description to the video if you face any issues following this tutorial make sure that you would leave a comment below also you could leave a comment in the forums the link to the forums and the thread for this particular tutorial will be given in the description just go to that link and leave a reply to that thread and i'll get back to you as soon as possible okay till i see you in the next video bye bye guys